if the UK says, look, we're free trade, everybody can come into our country, everyone can trade in, in free of any in, uh, changes, any uh, problems, then it's going to be terrific. It's going to be very good for England, it's going to be good for the rest of the world, and particularly for emerging countries. Because don't forget, the UK has a very close ties with a lot of these great emerging markets because of the former colonial background. Sure. So a free and open uh, UK would be very good, but they have to really take that strong step. And you fear that, that we're not going to get as hard a Brexit and as such will be tied to what, some tough European set of regulatory rules which is going to prohibit that? Exactly. This is what I fear. I fear that uh, whatever happens, it'll be sort of a mixed bag and not really a clear free market situation, which but, is what's but needed. But is saying it wants as soft a Brexit as possible. I'm listening to the CBI, uh, the small businesses and all various organisations. They, they seem to think that they want close ties to Europe still. Uh, is business wrong? Oh, no question. They're right. Uh, one example, one manufacturer of automobiles that we know of has 100 trucks waiting at the border every day. Can you imagine if they are restricted or they have paperwork to go through and so forth, it's a, it's a disaster. So there's no question that manufacturers want a free and open border with uh, the EU and the UK. It sort of strikes me as curious that we're talking about the UK while well, we typically talk to you about emerging markets. Yeah. Uh, it has been incredibly volatile lately. Has that jumped out to you about how volatile UK assets have been from the pound in particular to the UK stock market on Brexit fears? Oh, well, definitely. There's no question there's a lot of volatility. but. Uh, you, the nice thing about these emerging countries is that they're so different one from the other. You know, you have volatility with one, and then if you put these all together in a basket, it's not that bad. The volatility is not that, that excessive. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.